Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can make your own or do your own love doll to work love magic on, to do like dominating work, but usually in the realms of, of love. And you do this spell, you make this doll on somebody that you know and that you want, okay? So I'm going to show you how to how I put the doll together and how to utilize it. And I use certain herbs. You have to use the herbs that I am showing you. All right, you cannot substitute um, at all. So if you feel like you uh, need to substitute or you go do a different spell, this spell is not for you. Okay, this is not about feeling included or feeling like whatever. This is about getting it done. All right, so this is the doll. Okay, and it's kind of anatomically correct, right? And so, when you make the doll, you want to use a pinkish, a dark pinkish material. Okay, why? Because it's um, two colors together. Dark red and light pink. Light pink is for unconditional love, and red is for passion. So when you bring these two colors together, you get like a magenta, like a reddish pink which is ideal for what you're trying to do, to accomplish when working love magic on a particular person, okay? So what you're gonna do, if it's a male, you're gonna make male genitalia, and if it's a female, you know, female genitalia, you wanna put a heart, because you wanna affect the heart, right? So once you construct, and it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, you want to make a little makeshift doll, you sew it together and leave a little incision, which I usually leave an incision in the head. Now, for stuffing, you're going to stuff it with like some cotton, but you're going to leave some room because you're going to add the following herbs. This herb, yo puedo más que tú, which means I can more than you. I'll just show you what it looks like. I keep my herbs in a... You can find these online, okay? We use this herb so that you have the upper hand in the relationship, right? And then we're gonna use this herb called Vencedor for victory to, to win the situation. And I keep the sticks too, but it looks kind of like that. You can go online and type these herbs in to see what they look like and where you can get them. There's a lot of websites that you can find to where you can purchase these specific herbs. And then you're going to use, this herb is called Amansa Wapo, to tame the bully in English, but this is to like dominate somebody. And these are very powerful herbs to use. And it's best to get them from a reliable source where they do like a ceremony over the herbs and put life into them because you want to make sure that your herbs, you know, work for you and that are alive. You want to use orris roots. Okay. Calendula leaves. And I put some John the Conqueror root. Well, mainly the root. You can see that. Okay. You're going to use your perfume, your personal perfume. And if you're able to, get um, use some pheromones. Pheromonas. Okay. It doesn't have to, this is the only thing you can substitute in this, okay? Um, or you can go without it. I like to use pheromones. These are perfumes. You don't have to get the specific brand, but if you go to your botanica, you can find perfumes that contain pheromones. Okay. 
All right, so once you've constructed your, your doll and you have all your herbs and the name of the person and the picture of the person and their birthday inside the doll, you can start working, okay? And you can put this doll in a jar. You can put them in a... Uh, you can bind it with another doll to represent you and you bind them together. But I have this ribbon. You can use, you use ribbon. All right, and this particular ribbon, it doesn't have to be, you, you need a ribbon, but this particular ribbon I got from a wedding, okay? And it's gold. Your ribbon doesn't have to be from a wedding, but it ha you have to have a ribbon. Why? Because I'm gonna show you. Okay, so you're going to take the doll once you've you've baptized it and brought the doll to life, right? And the way you do that is different for everybody, but usually what I do is I blow cigar smoke all over the doll to instill breath, and I spray rum from my mouth onto the doll to give it life. You know, and then I, I, I it's ready. So you're going to take your ribbon, right? And you're going to begin binding the doll, right? And you can say something like, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I bind such and such, whoever their name is, I bind all five of their senses to me so that they are sweet to me, so that they are loving to me, so that they only think of me, so that they only desire me, you know, whatever. And then you're going to tie it together and, and, and not so, right? With the first knot, I bind their five senses to me. With the second knot, they love me. With the third knot, I capture their heart, body, mind, soul, and spirit, or whatever you need to say. But make sure that you do an odd amount number of knots okay and then once you bind the doll you can place it in a jar and work the jar you know okay so once you bind the doll right to add your essence to the doll You're going to take your personal perfume and spray the doll, imbuing it with your essence and connecting you to the person, right? And then this is where I take my pheromones and I spray the pheromones to just incite lust, right? And sexuality. So this was just like an example, but the construction of the doll, you need to use these herbs for my doll. If you're going to do a different doll, then do a different doll however you want. But for my doll, you need to use these herbs because they give the most effectiveness. If you would like for me to construct a doll for you and work it, to dominate a person, to make them come to you, you can email me, um, and I'll give you pricing and everything, but try to do this on your own and see if it works for you. You know, it's, a, it's very, very effective, especially with the calendula leaves, because the calendula leaves really help establish a psychic connection to the person. So there you have it, doll magic.